Today we shall see what is a year plan and what are the advantages of preparing a year plan. Now what is a year plan? Year plan is done by the teacher at the beginning of a year for the entire course. So the teacher who teaches a course in mathematics for a particular class, she plans the curricular and co-curricular activities as per the syllabus for the entire academic year. So the teacher has to plan for that mathematics class or for a particular class for whom she is taking the whole both the curricular and co-curricular activities for the entire course of the year. So year plan helps the teacher to consider the time available and to use the utmost use of it. So she has to plan the year plan is to plan by per week, per month, per term. So before the academic session, she has to plan all these things so that she knows from the beginning which are the courses, which are the topics she will be teaching and when there will be revision, when there will be exam and when the students will be given co-curricular activities. All these things needs to be planned by a teacher at the beginning of the year plan, academic year. So year planning helps the teacher to take decision regarding when to teach which topic, what topic to be taught when and how much time can be allotted for that unit or that topic, how many hours of project work can be given, how many hours of laboratory work can be allotted to the students and how much time can be given for revision, for test, for examination. So at the beginning of the academic year itself, the teacher plans how to take the class according to the syllabus systematically, which subject will be taught when and how much time to be allotted for each topic and then when the project work can be given, when the laboratory work can be given and when the students can have the revision, the test, the examination, everything is prepared at the beginning of the academic year itself. So year plans ensures the smooth instruction throughout the year because the teacher plans out the curricular and co-curricular activity so at the beginning itself so she need not be in a haste or she need not be in anxiety or anything. She can be very cool and she can teach the students very well according to the syllabus. What are the points can be kept in mind before preparing a year plan? The teacher must keep in mind the number of units to be covered by, as per the syllabus. The whole year, what are the, how many units, which are the units to be covered the whole academic year in that subject should be known by the teacher. Then how many periods are needed for to cover that each unit and each topic how it has it is how much you need how much period to be number of periods she needs to finish and number of periods allotted for mathematics the whole, per week how many periods now for example seven periods are allotted then how many periods are needed for one unit then she knows okay there are five units five units can be finished within this particular time then she must also know the number of working days per term and for the whole year. Also, she must know when she has to allot the project work, revision test, examination. So, how many days can be allotted for that and the number of holidays in, during the academic year. So, when she knows the allotted timetable and when she knows the allot how much time needed for each unit, when she knows she must know how many working days are there, number of working days, number of holidays, when she can give the project work, revision test and examination. If she keeps in mind all those things, she will be able to prepare a very good lesson plan, sorry, year plan. So what are the advantages of year plan? Year plan helps the teacher in planning for the entire 
course for the whole of the academic year. It also keeps the teacher on a right track. She knows this day this portion to be covered, this day the exam to be kept. So she is on right track. It also helps the teacher to cover the syllabus within the allotted time without wasting their time and energy. There are teachers, they will not be able to cover the portion and at the end of the year they just rush it and the students also suffer. So when if the teacher prepares a year plan, she will be able to very well execute, she will be very well able to teach the subject to the students. The year plan also helps the teacher in an orderly and systematic teaching. Once the teacher is very thorough how to go about, then she need not be confused, she can be systematic in presenting, in dealing with her subject matter. It also gives a lot of self-confidence to the teacher as she is sure of when to teach, what to teach in a particular week, in a week, in a period, in a month, in a term and everything. So she need not be anxious at all. She will be thoroughly prepared for everything. So dear students, as you are preparing yourself to be a teacher educator, we teachers, we, well, I ask you to prepare a year plan. For now, for ninth standard class subject, how, mathematics, for mathematics, how you would prepare a year plan for the whole year through. Go through the calendar the, for the year, which are the holidays given by the government. So you can delete all the holidays, all the days can be filled, these are the holidays and the Sundays can be left and then the quarterly, half yearly, annual examination most probably when it would come, when it would be over, so that days can be allotted. So previously the before the quarterly holidays there will be few days of quarterly examination, so you have to allot days for that, for half yearly also same way and for the annual exam also same way. And at the end of every month, if we have monthly test, how many days the child needs or the students they need. So those days must be left. So the other part of the week, how we can you can plan for the year planning. How you can teach the subject, which are the days you can give for revision, so that you will be able to have a holistic view of the whole academic year, how the subject can be taught. So, wish you all the best, prepare it and submit and I shall help you for the, ex for the correction. Thank you. So, dear students, I ask you to take 9th standard book, mathematics book and then prepare a year plan for that mathematics subject. Now, you must keep in mind the number of holidays the number of working days and the days you need to give for test, exams like quarterly, half yearly, annual as well as you must keep in mind the days you need to give for project work, for laboratory work and for co-curricular activities so that you will be able to prepare how you can give the time each unit, how many units are there, which unit to be taught first and then how you can prepare and you can execute the timing for each unit so that the students also have time for revision, for test and for examinations. So wish you all the best. If you have any doubts or clarification, you can always ask. Thank you.